Hello and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. In the previous video, we saw how to customize Tailwind CSS for our project. This video is specifically about changing the default breakpoints for responsive design. Tailwind CSS has these breakpoints, starting from SM with a min width of 640 pixels up to 2XL with a min width of 1536 pixels. 2XL was added in the latest version 2.0. But so many times I have felt the need for an excess breakpoint for small tablets or landscape oriented mobiles with a min width of say about 480 pixels. Let me show you an example. Let's take the simple section of small cards display created using grid. It has three columns at the screen width. And now when I reduce the screen size at exactly 640 pixels, it reduces to two columns. It works great until here, but for very small devices like Nokia 8110, this looks very bad. You cannot do with this. Let's take a look at the code now. So here we have grid calls to applied for mobile devices and above the SM breakpoint, we have grid calls 3. So to solve our current problem, we could change this to grid calls 1. So now it's just one column. This works fine, but for a slightly larger screen, just less than 640 pixels, say for example for tablets like Nexus 7 or even iPhone SE landscape orientation, this is too wide. This doesn't look good. This is where we feel the need for another breakpoint somewhere around you know this size, which is 480 pixels. It would be great if we could have a breakpoint here, which is excess breakpoint. So let's add that now. I'm assuming you already have the tailwind.config.js file. If you need help installing and setting up a simple project with Tailwind CSS exactly like this, watch the video linked above. This is the file we need to edit. Let's go to the documentation now and search for breakpoints. Here we are customizing the default breakpoints for your project. Since we wish to override the default breakpoints, we need to copy the entire section, screen section here within theme, copy, and paste it here. Don't forget to put a comma at the end. You could remove the comments. So we have our SM, MD, XL, LG to XL breakpoints here. And to add the excess point, breakpoint, we need to do it at the very beginning because Tailwind follows mobile first approach. So excess 480 pixels and a comma. Let's try adding this to our HTML. So grid calls one, excess grid calls two. But for this to work, we need to build once. Now I have this build script in the package.json file. Let's open the terminal npm run build. So this is generating our styles.css, which is linked with the HTML file here. It's done. So let's see how this works. Yes, so at 480 breakpoint exactly, we have reduced it to two columns. I mean, we still have two columns. At 640, we have three columns and below 480 we have one single column. There we go. We have successfully added our custom breakpoint. If you want to completely customize these values, this is where you change them. You could change the names here, you could change the pixels here, but this works really fine. I only felt the need to add the excess breakpoint. Great, so refer the documentation here for more ways to customize it and have fun building with Tailwind. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.